Hello, hello, Hero of Collectors here. How's it going, everybody? Hope you all are doing fantastic. I know I am because I'm back once again with another unboxing video. And I know, right after the last one. But with stuff coming in, I thought it'd be best to split it all up instead of making it a really, really long video because I really did go on for like nine minutes unboxing that Star Killer. So, uh, spoilers for the previous video, but make sure you go watch it. Uh, but starting off this video, I have a package here from Mike Hex, who uh, you might know from the you may know my may you may know from the Legends of the Liquor Group. Uh, he drew a little illustration on it of a Lego character, which is really fun. I like that. Uh, but yeah, so he was selling some stuff, and I noticed some things that I would like. So I messaged him back and I said, hey, or I messaged him and said, hey, I'm, I'm interested in these items. I'm trying not to just ruin this package, but it's kind of hard not to. And yeah, he shipped them out really quick. And yeah, I'm going to open them up for you. And I'm just going to rip on into this one. Okay. So, uh, okay, it's all in one baggie, so let me set that here. Do you like this? I had to put my lamp light into my, like, photo box so that it, I actually have better lighting in here because it is, it, I, I'm off work and the sun is down, so it's really dark in this room, and, uh, I, uh, the lamp <laughs> just doesn't do the best of lighting. So first up is the right leg to the Super Scroll Build-A-Figure. Now, I already have Clert built, but I was building a second one as like a Scroll Brute, and this is the last piece I needed. So let's just pop it on. There we go. And Bam, just like that, I now have another scroll for my army. So right as of right now, this recording, I have a I've got Kalert built with the super scroll parts on him. I've got this guy, and I've got four just grunts of the army builders that Hasbro Pulse did, and then I've got Zavin as my kit bash scroll. And then we've got I have yet to get the Scroll 2 pack with Queen Queen Varanki and the Illuminati Super Scroll, and I plan to do a Kit Bash uh, Scroll in the future. So, slowly building out that army, and this little this guy as a brute is going to help fill out those ranks. So, that is really awesome. And then these guys, let's get them unwrapped here. Uh, I've always wanted the Lego set that these guys come from. I never got it because I, I just think at the time I wasn't quite, I, I don't think I was working full time at that point and I, uh, I just never backtrack on getting it, but he offered the minifigures and I said absolutely because these are characters and designs I would really want for the collection. So here is uh, Darth Maul, you see that? Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi all from episode one. I forget what year yeah, year this set came out. And I'll, I'll try to throw up a picture in the edit. But yeah, it's a set I always wanted to get but never backtrack on. But now I don't have to because now I've got the minifigures for it. And he did send some lightsabers. Uh, there's a few over here. I'm going to see if I have any custom hilts or anything that I can put with these guys that would work as well. But yeah, they are really cool. So just to recap, we've got these three little guys. And then we've got a Scrawl Brute to start off this video. I think I'm going to have some more stuff later on. So yeah, we'll catch you all in the next clip. Hey everybody, just checking in really quick. I did a little bit of shopping, not really, it was actually a really quick stop at Walmart. And I found this guy, my favorite clone trooper of all time, my boy Fives. So uh, I, I took a gamble and didn't pre-order him with Walmart. 
and was kind of hoping that I would find them in store. And sure enough, they have been putting up those like little displays with him, Jesse, the standard uh, clone. Oh, what are they called? The Delta Squad clones, but plain, and then the newer Bad Batch. But I had to get this guy. Uh, I will get Jesse at some point, but I won't get the rest. Fives was the priority. So he's going to be going up on the shelf with Echo. And I'll show him out of box later, but I just wanted to share that I picked him up today. So. Hey guys, checking back in. It's uh, it's kind of early morning. Uh, I've got the windows open, so hopefully a little bit of light is, help is coming in along with my lamp. Again, I apologize that I do these at all the wrong times, but... Uh, I did get Fives out of box. He looks amazing. I am so happy. I was posing him next to Echo <clears throat> yesterday, and yeah, I'm so happy. I finally have Fives. I just need to get a Rex now, and I'll have at least my top three favorite clones. Yeah, yeah, my top three. But, um, so yesterday was my birthday, and I didn't really advertise it much this year like at all on my Instagram and of course I'm telling you guys now uh, but yeah so I'm one year older but that also means I got some gifts so from a girlfriend I received first volume of Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil run which I've been meaning to check out it's you know I've heard nothing but good things and the Marvel Legends that are releasing right now are just kind of pushing me and <laughs> making me want to read it more so I got that to read, and I'll probably be checking that out next month. And then she also got me the Howard the Duck from the Conchu Build-A-Figure Wave. It's the last figure I needed for the wave, and I've already taken him out of box. So there is Howard and the Scott Lang head out of box there. And of course... I had to pull the Build-A-Figure piece out, and here is my finished Khonshu. So I'll probably be doing a wave review and ranking really late, but I've just finished the wave now, so might as well take a look at the figures that all came in the wave. So there's that. Uh, from, another f from a family member, I received this kind of Captain America collection. It's just a few, like, seminal stories from him. Uh, there's something... It's the Marvel Legacy Wade book. Uh, Hydra Captain America, the first issue. Uh, Castaway in Dimension Z, first issue. Secret Avengers, first issue. Uh, a Liefeld Captain America issue, first appearance. One where he's the captain. It's... It's... A, it's just some seminal moments in Captain America's history, so that's really cool. I'll be checking that out. Uh, let me put this with the other book. Okay. And then also, from a family member, there was this, Black Adam. A movie I didn't have yet, and I quite enjoyed. I quite enjoyed the movie, so, you know, I don't mind buying it. I'm not super into DC right now, but this was a lot of fun when I saw it, so... Glad to have that. Uh, let's get that underneath that. Okay. And then uh, the rest of the stuff is because of Summit City Spidey. Now, only one of the items was a birthday gift. Everything else he just helped me get on sale because Target's been having those really good half off or even some people are finding 70% off figures. So he was really cool and helped me secure some figures that I was wanting for good prices and I'm going to be paying him back. So first up is the Jessica Drew Spider-Woman from the Spider-Man Retro Wave. He found this for like seven dollars and some change so that's really awesome. So now I have her for the collection. Not sh Actually this one's probably going to be going on the Spider-Verse shelf now that I think about it. So that's where she'll be going. And then we've got the Ben Riley Spider-Man Beyond Spider-Man suit. We got this one for half off, so it was like 12 and some change. So two more for the uh for 
this wave. I just need to get the rose and tarantula and I'm done with this wave. So those are good. Now it's one of these next two that is a birthday gift. They said it doesn't matter which one, just that one of these two was the birthday gift and I'll pay him back for the other one. Uh, we have the Super Scroll Illuminati version and uh, the Queen Varenki, Scroll Queen, Jessica Drew, whatever you want to call her. Uh, got this for half off, so really happy to have that. And perfect timing as I have this. So my Scroll Army is really coming together. So that's this one. And then there was the Secret Wars 2 pack with Doctor Doom and Captain Marvel. I've been pretty excited mostly for the Captain Marvel, but this Doom figure, I've been seeing pictures of him and he looks pretty great. Really excited to see him out of out of box. So let's see that. So yeah, there are those. And then last but not least, we got the big one. We got the Grey Hulk and Dr. Banner 2 pack. So yeah, that was basically. I'm now down to just getting the Super Adaptoid for, from this Avengers Anniversary line, and I've got all the packs I want. The only one I skipped on was uh, the Black Knight and Cersei pack. So, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. So yeah, I'm excited to open up all these. Let me kind of arrange them like I did in the last video, and you guys can take a look at everything that I've got, so let me pause this. Alright, here's everything out on the table. We've got the two comics and the Black Adam movie. We've got Howard the Duck and Khonshu. I also pulled in fives just so you guys can have another look at them here. We've got the Captain Marvel and Doom two-pack, the Scroll two-pack, the two Spider-Man retro figures, retro quotations, and then Grey Hulk and Banner. So, pretty awesome stuff. I'm going to get to opening these guys and, yeah, having some fun. So I'll check back in with you in the next segment. Hey guys, uh, just checking back in. It's only been a few hours since I did that last clip. Uh, I went to the grocery store, got my groceries for the, for the week, and I went to a Walmart and it's a Walmart that's been doing a lot of renovations. They've been updating like certain areas of the store and whatnot. And they had a large clearance section. Well, I went and checked it out and look what I found. A $12 Ahsoka Show Ezra. I had talked myself into this figure, but to find it for 12 bucks, that's... That's awesome. I'm so happy that I went to the store today and found this. So, yeah, another Black Series pickup for me. And it's one that I've, I was pretty excited for, so I'm very happy. Hey, I am back. It has been a few days, but I celebrated my birthday along with another friend's birthday at uh, one of my friend's house just yesterday. And I received a couple things uh, that I'm gonna show you guys I also received a few other things that don't necessarily relate to collecting and comic books and stuff and whatnot so those I'm not gonna share but I am gonna share these so uh first up absolute carnage trade uh, I've been wanting to reread this I and I remember being so excited for when this came out and it just I don't know I, I love the Venom run I love Donny Cates's work so having that now, I'm definitely going to be rereading the car Absolute Carnage, and I, now I need to track down some of the other trades from the Venom run, and now I need to get King of Black, so, so I have the complete collection. So that's another awesome, awesome read that I need to do, <laughs> reread. And then I also received Lego buildable character Spider-Man. I don't know if these actually have a term in the LEGO community or not. I know it's a very divisive line in the LEGO community, but uh, I quite like it, actually, and I've already built Spidey. So, uh, he's pretty fun. He looks great. You know, in the 
building process, so I was a little worried, but, you know, overall, he, uh, he looks pretty good once he's built up. And, you know, I, I wish that they could find a way to maybe work in an ab crunch, but overall, these are a lot of fun. I like them. I think I might even take the, the skeleton of the builds for these and try to make my own custom builds eventually. Because, like, I want a comics giant man. I want some sentinels in the scale. So, I don't know. I kind of want to do that in the future. But I just need to track down more of these. Because, let's see, I have this one. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I have Venom and I have Iron Man. I want to track down a Miles before he gets retired. And then I need to get the new Wolverine. Captain America, Batman, and Ant-Man, or Giant Man, in the MCU. But then I also want to get a second Wolverine and Batman so I can make Dark Claw, because I saw somebody else on Instagram do that, and that's something I want to do too. <laughs> I like Dark Claw. So, but yeah, uh, those are the things I received that, you know, I feel relate to the channel. There's other, like, I got gift cards and a few other items that just, no. I, you guys don't need to, or you guys probably don't want to see all that. So, yeah. Yeah, Spidey and Absolute Carnage. So those are awesome. So I'll check back in with you probably. Uh, I don't think I'm going to end up going to a store this week at all. I did receive a gift card, so I might go to Walmart. I don't know. But, uh... The following weekend, I'll be, I think, celebrating my birthday with last bit of family, and I may receive a couple items there with them that I may share with you guys, but we will see. Hey, everybody, I'm back, and it's been just a couple days. Uh, in the last clip, I was really unsure about if I would be going to any stores this week. Well, I went to a Walmart, <laughs> and I got some stuff. So I had a gift card. So I decided to use it towards getting the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania Wasp. Uh, after getting the Kang, I was wanting the Ant-Man. After getting the Ant-Man, I was wanting her. And I really want to finish the Cassie build the figures. So I had to get uh, Hope. I almost called her Janet. Uh, so another figure of the wave taken care of. Still need to get all the comic figures still, but... I'm really happy to have her. And then this was a surprise. I uh, was not expecting it to be hitting this soon. I haven't seen any area reports, but uh, I happened to look in the Transformers section, and I was just, you know, kind of glancing around and wasn't seeing much of what I was looking for until I looked at the core class. And I saw the brand new Novocaine figure, which is like the repaint of Freezer. I was like, well, Novocaine's out. Does that mean Noah's here? And so I, was start, I started looking around. I saw the old uh, 86 exosuit, and then, like, the Ravage was still on the pegs. And I was like, oh, dang, it's probably not here. But then, sure enough, Noah Diaz in the exosuit had arrived. So this... I'd been wanting this since the movie. I didn't expect that they would actually make it. And here it is. And my good buddy, Kahubri J, has been telling me what a great figure this is. And I'm just so excited to actually get him out and mess around with him. Like, I picked these up last night. And it was just too late to film. I was tired. And I've been dying to open these ever since. So, I'm going to end it here. You know, I got these two. These are awesome. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. And I will check back in with you in a bit. i um, still debating. I think at the end of the video, I'm going to show, like, all the action figures together on the desk like I did before. But, yeah. I don't know. I... Oh! I do have one more thing coming in today. So, hopefully that'll arrive safe and sound and I can share what that is later. Hey, guys. I'm back. It's later on in the day. It's actually late. <laughs> um... A late night at work so i've got the lamps on so hopefully everything looks a bit better than usual 
So I've got a box here. I realized I didn't show that to you. I've got a box here from Amazon. This was a pre-order that I had. A figure that I thought, you know, would be pretty popular. So why not put in a pre-order just to secure it? And it's the only one from the wave that I plan to get. So it's, you know, nice that I have it in now, done, and over with. As you can see, it is the X-Men 97 Wolverine. So, you know me, I love me some Wolverine. And this guy, uh, I skipped on the VHS uh, Wolverine that came out, I think, what, last year, year before that? Uh, last year, last year, because they did the X-Men ones last year. And I wanted to get my hands on these new claws. I think the head sculpts are really nice. I uh, watched uh, MCU Collector's Review, and I couldn't tell in the video how they did his facial hair, but I understand now what he meant, and yeah, that is not great, but overall, the rest of the figure looks pretty dang solid, so I'm going to open him up later. Actually, I'm probably going to open him up as soon as I'm done filming this clip, and I will check back in with you guys later to show him off. And I, I, I want to test out the heads to see how well they work with other Wolverines, if the animated look still looks alright compared to other comic-based bodies. And then the I want to see if the yellow matches any other Wolverines we have for the, the masked head sculpt. Just to see if that would work on other heads and if I like it better than what we got before. So, yeah, I'm excited. I love me some Wolverine and... This is the only figure that I really wanted. Uh, I really do hope, though, that they do a Cyclops in his Jim Lee uniform in this, because I skipped out on the VHS one. I have the Warlock Wave one, but I like the new body, so it's a matter of if they do one without the cell shading and it doesn't look too animated kind of want it to replace the old Jim Lee version that I have. But as of right now, I'm not going to I'm not going to fuss too much about it. And then I wouldn't mind the Magneto suit. He's supposed to have like a purple and white suit from the comics. If we were to get that and the Magnus head that I think came with where's he at? Right there, that Magneto. I want to see if that would work on that body. So X-Men 97, I think it's off to a good start. It's just not a lot of stuff for me. I would like to see that Magneto and Cyclops at least in the future. Just to just to see if some like other display options would work. Or if it would even fit in what I'm going for in a display. But yeah. Uh, I'm going... I was a total liar earlier in the video when I said that I didn't expect too much because... You know, like, I didn't expect this to come in this week when I recorded that. Uh, I didn't expect to, you know, get a lot of stuff for my birthday, spend the birthday money, and, in fact, next clip, I spent more of my birthday money on Amazon, so. Fun times. Uh, but fun figures, so. I'm not too fussed. <laughs> so I'm going to check back in with you probably tomorrow. And we're back. Uh, it is now the next day from the last clip you saw. And I've got a nice big old box here, as you can see. Uh, this is from Amazon, because they were having their Prime Day sales. And I had canceled my Prime subscription. And then I saw the figures that were on sale and that Amazon had a special deal where you could get Prime back for a week for only $2. And I decided to do that so that I can get these figures on sale and save myself about $50. So, 50 minus 2 for what I had to pay to get Prime back. I saved about $48, but I also had gift cards on my account because of my birthday. I received a few, so I had enough to where I basically only paid $22 out of my own pocket account or whatever, my own personal account, 
to get these. So, <laughs> and they're in shipper boxes, of course. So as you can see, I have two items. We'll go with the smaller one first. You can see it here. These are Marvel Legends exclusives that I have just been waiting on. Not because I didn't want them, but just because there is so much coming out that it's hard to keep up and priorities and what have you. And it just was a good opportunity to get these in a sale since they were on such a good sale. Okay. You see that right there? So yes, I finally got Ronin from the Comic Guardian stuff. They've been really killing it with these Comic Guardian figures, the Yondu, the Star-Lord. I haven't gotten the Drax and Moon Dragon yet, but I plan to. And this guy is a big villain that I'm missing from my Cosmic Collection. So, even though I just redid my Cosmic Shelf, he's going to have to go with the Kree up on there. So, that is really awesome. A lot of cosmic stuff that I got recently, actually, like between all the scrolls and this guy and all that. So there he is. There's little Ronin. And we got this big old box right here. You can see the shipper there. So yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say. Well, I open this up. So yeah, Ronin. That's really nice. I. Uh, the Kree are kind of, like, lacking. Between, like, a lot of the cosmic powers, the Kree and the, the Shi'ar really need a lot of representation. And we don't have much of it. So to get him to go with my Kree is really awesome. We need, like, a Kree army builder just to troops. And then the Supreme Intelligence, of course. So let's do this. There we go. Yep. I finally got the West Coast Avengers box set. Uh, a lot of repaints in this one. Uh, so wh what are my plans since I already have most of the figures in here? So Tigra, this will go with my West Coast Avengers. But my other one will go in my street level setup with my Moon Knight because I've been reading the Jed McKay run that's going on right now. And those two paired together, I really enjoy it. So... I'm going to have them pose on the shelf over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Spider-Woman, this one will go with the West Coast Avengers, of course. And then my other one will go in my Spider-Verse display. Silver Centurion, this one's going to be interesting because I want to track down another AI Iron Man. And I want to do some serious kit bashing, more than I've ever done before and make the Iron Thief. I always want to call him the Iron Imposter, but it's Grant Ward from the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comic book that came out a few years ago. And so it, I think this Iron Man will be great for that by swapping the limbs and putting it on the AI, AI Iron Man. So that's the plan with him. And then these two, of course, you know, they're, they're brand new, so I'm not too worried about that, but... She's going to be going with my classic Avengers, especially next to the new Hawkeye with Sky Cycle. And Hank Pym, I actually was, I was going over like my eventual plans because we all want to have like a goal, like the way we collect, you always have to strive for something, right? And I had a list of, a short list of figures that I just wasn't sure where they're going to go in the collection. And one of them was the vision from the Hulkbuster wave. 15, 2015, I think. Um, I wasn't really sure where I was going to put him, but then I found where the costume is from, and it's from Avengers AI. And when I realized that, I took a look at the Hank Pym that was on that team, and it's very close to this costume. I know this is very... West Coast Avenger specific, but he does have a red jacket on or something like that. I think that's where he's going to go is uh, my goal is to have a shelf just of specific Avengers teams, like iterations, like 
the Heroic Age and New Avengers and Secret Avengers, maybe, and AI Avengers AI, so I can do that and have two members. And then if I get a second of this Doctor Doom, whoa, darken up a bit. If I get a second of this Doctor Doom, I can have that be Doombot from the team. So a lot of a lot of things coming into motion, even though, you know, let's I wasn't super hyped about this set when it first was announced, but I do want a lot of it. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Amazon. And you know, the sales kind of up, and these were everything that I wanted out of the out of the sales. Well, there was a few other things that I did want that went on sale, but I didn't want to spend too much more. So Alrighty, uh, in the last clip I was really unsure if I would have anything else to show you guys, but I did do the last bit of visiting family for my birthday, and I did have a few items that I received, along with a few things that I picked up. So we'll start with those. I stopped by a Target, and I found the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness Scarlet Witch. So that is awesome. Uh, and I did already open this up to see if she was actually in the package, and she was, because she was... She's the last one there, and I wanted to make sure that she was actually in there. Uh, I also picked up, we went to Half Price Books, and I got the animated Doctor Strange movie. I think this is the last of the Lionsgate Marvel animated movies that I needed. So, I think I have them all now, and I need to watch this one and Iron Man. And I will have watched them all. Then, also at Half Price Books, I got Young Avengers Complete Collection. This collects their whole first run, uh, issues 1 through 12, plus the special. So, if you know me, you know I love the Young Avengers and Runaways, those younger teams, those legacy heroes. So, I love reading about them, and now I have the full first run to reread as much as I want. And then, I got one of the epic collections of Spider-Man, and this is the first volume. This has the first 17 issues, plus the annual, plus Amazing Fantasy 15. So, next year my goal is to start reading the older books, because that's a big gap in my reading, is all the old stuff. I started X-Men a little while back, never finished the first initial 60 issues. So I want to do that, and then I uh, I want to get into reading Spider-Man, I want to get into reading Hulk, and of course the Avengers. So I think that's my goal for next year is to start working at reading more of the original classic books. So that epic collection right there will be a nice way to do that, since it's got a nice chunk of the beginning. And you know, if I can track down some more of those epic collections, that'd be awesome as well. So I think that's my reading goal of next year, is to get more of the original stuff read. So. But now onto the couple items that I received for my birthday. This one's really exciting, because I've been dying to rewatch this show. I have not watched it since I was a kid on Saturday morning cartoons. This is my Turtles. I sold the action figures I had of Turtles, the best action ones, because I want to have these guys immortalized in my collection. I want them to do new figures or re-releases of the original figures, but I also want to rewatch the show because I'm, I am i haven't watched it since I was a kid, and I just want to see them again and experience it all again for the first time, or the second time, I guess. First time as an adult. But, yeah, this is exciting. I'm going to probably finish Season 1 of The Flash and then get started with this. So, that is awesome. Yeah, let's turn that around so you can just see the goal logo there. And then the other item is a Lego set. It's the Spider-Man and Morbius car. It's one I didn't have yet. Uh, definitely going to be upgrading that Morbius figure just because I don't like that hairpiece that they used. But yeah, though, this is another yeah, another Lego set that I've, I've, I've been waiting to get, but now I finally have, and I'll be building it soon. So I think how we're going to end this video 
is I'm going to try to have everything out on the desk to show you guys. So the movies, the couple Lego sets, the couple comic books, all the action figures. I'm going to try and put all of them out on the desk for you guys to see. It's a lot of stuff. But also keep in mind it was birthday gifts, sale stuff, using birthday money. It, it It's a lot. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be the next clip. So just cut that. Alrighty, so I promised a recap, and here is a recap. So, coming over here, we have all the LEGO items I have received in this video. Come on, there we go. So, you got the three figures from Mike Hex. Shout out Mike Hex. Go follow him down in the description. Got the Spider Man LEGO sets, you can see there. See all the movies that I. One I bought, and the others were gifts. All the comic books, uh, half were gifts and half I bought. And then we get into all of the Marvel Legends, and or well, just action figures in general. So, sorry about my finger there. Uh, all the Marvel Legends two packs that had really good sales. No, there we go. Focus. All those packs that had really good sales. The West Coast pack that had a good sale. Ronin good sale. The couple that I just picked up because I had some birthday money. Howard the Duck, which is a gift. Who helped me finish Khonshu back there. The last leg I needed for the scroll. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Spider Woman, Spider Beyond. Good deals at Target. You know. Uh, I had a pre-order for Wolverine. Found a really good deal on Ezra. Scarlet Witch was one I found. Fives was one I found. So, like... A lot of it was, you know, clearance, but also I did just get a few at full price. You know, the, it's a real mixed bag, but there's just a lot of figures here. I've gotten pic pictures of most of them already, and I'm still working through the rest of them. But yeah, this has been quite the haul. Lots of stuff to, you know, just enjoy and read and watch, so... I'm going to close out this video. Thank you all so much for watching. This is probably a really long one, but I hope you do, or I hope you did enjoy. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you all in another video, another post, another time.